Hello everybody, my name is Somnus Comic, aka Skull Crusher, and I'm here, finally here, with the Crash Bandicoot Ancient Trilogy Let's Play. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to finally start doing this. As you can see, the trophies are at zero. Don't trust me completely. Where is it? Uh, trophies. See? It's going to sync up. Zero, zero, zero. All these three have zero. This is fresh, this is from the beginning. The only thing I've started, I started up once for presets, and except the standard bloody blah stuff, so I can easily just jump into any game I want to. But since this is the last play, I don't want to do this in order, I'm gonna start off with Crash Bandicoot 1 first, so let's start. I'm so excited! Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Developed by Vicarious Visions. It's Crash Bandicoot! Let's start. Uh, and of course, logic wise, I'm going to start off with the first game, and then the second game, and then the third game. And that'll work. See, new game, new game. Uh, here we go. First time ever pressing this button. So hyped. So hyped. I'm trying not to talk too over the cutscenes, so. <coughs> but Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the Vortex! <laughs> Dr. Cortex! <laughs> the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Prepare the female bandicoot. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I am hyped and pumped. By the way, if you may hear any whooshing noise or something, that's the PS4. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, delicious. I want to say for a kid, but I have a 1080p monitor. Well, TV, I must say, so. Oh, D pad and analog for work. Oh. Oh. It, this, this, feels, this, feels, this feels right. This feels so right. So, I'm just going to beat the game first. After I've beaten the game. I'm going to backtrack stuff for 100% of stuff. I'm not sure about the relics. I think I'm going to do those for myself. Just off camera somewhere. There we go.
Yeah, yeah, I still remember the path. Nice. Also, the fun thing about this is auto saving, and most importantly for me is in this first game, it actually saves the box count whenever you die it's after a checkpoint. So that's awesome. We got a first gem. Sweet. And three percent. Ah, one bar island. That's how you look. I've seen a lot of stuff already, also a little bit of a but never the final version. So I don't know if that the one I've seen a couple months ago is the final one. Yeah, that looks like the final one, so it's still the same. Holy oh, crap, this looks awesome. This looks awesome. See also the load and save here. See? And there's the auto save slot, so I don't have to do that anymore. <coughs> so jungle rolls, here we go. I'm so pumped. I also need to remember now with certain paths I can't get the boxes because of a certain color gem I need, so that's the thing I still need to keep in my mind. There you go. I know there's a trophy for spinning two enemies in each other. Well, twice, I believe. A ton of bones. Here we go again. Oh yeah, I know this uh, this time the boss... Uh, uh, boss. <laughs> the bonus tokens this time count, uh, counts with... Uh, total amount of boxes you need in a level. And there we go, spin doctor, trophy unlock. <laughs> and got it. I still got it man. <laughs> First try. <laughs> oh man. It's like I'm speeding through this. It's nostalgia all over again for me. Here we go. Bones ride. But yeah, I need these bonus uh, stages. I need them in order to get my box jump. Well, normally they were just for saving. Here we go, trophy. That's what those do. Stop bonus bad. There she is. And she gets taken away by Cortex. No. Yeah, normally these for save stages, but since it's a whole new system, you, you don't need that. So it actually just counts as a bonus round. Like in 2 and 3 where you actually need those boxes to finish the game. Like I said, where in the previous one you use it as a safe state. And yeah, I missed like 3 because I need the yellow jump for this path. Uh, oh well, then we see this one at least. Man, I'm have a feeling, I have a feeling I'm gonna speed through this this first section and then I'm getting stuck somewhere after I think pinstripe somewhere and koala kong <laughs> area okay here we go the great gate oh man even if even after I'm done doing this uh, whole series for my channel I'm still gonna keep playing this just regularly maybe with some friends we're gonna do some speedrun tactics like who gets the best time in relics or maybe just who can get a certain gem at a certain point in the game, or who can beat a certain boss for each other, or even finish the game. Who knows? We'll see. But for now, we decided to just... Uh, well, I decided to not look at the spoilers and stuff, as in what they are going to do. And... Come on. I, I will however watch them after I've done a certain amount of stuff, you know, for myself, like playthrough section that I've already seen, so where they are, like for example if they are at the same point as this one, I, I'll watch them, I'll watch it. I need to stop being a noob and bounce properly. No, 
Nope. Uh, okay. I, th I, th I thought for sure I would have gotten hit by that. Apparently not. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to take it easy. And then this happens. <laughs> of course. When I try to take it easy, I take an L. <laughs> and another one. It's like when you take the first one, it, it's it's a, it's a freaking streak of holes. There you go. But luckily, see? My boxes stay. That's amazing. Uh, good. Jump. Jump higher. There you go. Let that do it. There we go. That's actually what I want to do in the first place, but I had invisibility. Nope. Good. There you go. I can't get to it! There you go. Nice. Got it. Sweet. I'm still playing with the D-pad, so I need... Oh yeah, there's another, there's another color gem here. Yep. Why do I keep forgetting that? <laughs> Funny thing is, I recently streamed the first, second, and third game, the original trilogy. Uh, I don't know. Hype, I guess. boulders here we go it's funny when you kind of go and remember again from which area you need you can get all the boxes and which ones you can't you know where to speed through and where you know you have to take a step back do it easy just look out for the boxes yeah this one's I believe yeah this one you can get the box yeah First chase level. play the second game because that's one's my favorite than the third. I like the third but I don't know the, the second one is more nostalgic for me. Did that count as a oh cool that counted as a box break. Okay then I almost getting squashed for nothing so I'm gonna outrun you bowler. There you go and finished. Yeah I, I forgot that the, the boulder also breaks the boxes for you. I don't know why I thought that wouldn't be the case, but... Oh well... I really hope that system isn't too loud that it picks up on, on the mic, man. Because that would really suck. <laughs> there we go, upstream. One of the... Demos that shows. I mean, I know I can't get the box gem because I need the orange gem for this one. But I still to try to get as much as possible. You know, show off as much of the level as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, you some 
you see these sort of platforms in later levels as well these are the platforms where the time trial is going to be so yeah just did a little hitch up I'm over, I'm rather relaxed playing because it doesn't matter how many times I die before or after a checkpoint the box can't stay so that's that's a relief that's really a, a relief in playing the game Where you need the uh, color gem. There's like uh, I think one life box underneath that place. If I'm correct. I'm doing this out of my head. I will find it out sooner or later. There you go. Honestly, never thought that would work at first try. <laughs> I really thought that would never work at first try. But I'm happy with that. Go to close your mouth. See, I missed three, and there's one below there. Yeah, it was one below that's alive, and then two boxes ahead of the path. Yeah, it's coming back, it's coming back to me. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna bet some people first after they start casual live streaming this are gonna sp <coughs> speed run this game. Yeah, first boss fight, Papu Papu. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a sore throat, so. Hopefully that goes away soon. Hey big fella, wake up. Yoink. See, he has five lives now instead of three. It's from the Japanese version. But that doesn't matter. Because you can still keep on jumping up. And go again. Did. Papu popped. Watch over here. Sweet. And that was Papu Papu. <laughs> pretty easy, pretty quick. Just jump on his head. That's all. Now, here comes the new edition. Gogo's time machine. I can now say if I want to start the adventure as Crash or as Coco. So, for being as in trilogy and all, the first part, you know, let's make it a special part and let's swap to Coco and play Rolling Stones as Coco. How about that? Just the first part. I'm mainly gonna play as Crash, to be honest. I might do another series where I just play as Coco all the time, but then I already have all the levels unlocked and stuff, so what's the point? But yeah, let's just play as Coco. She has her own moves and stuff, but she just feels the same as freaking Crash. I, I still want to figure out like what will happen if you rescue Tana as Coco and what will happen if I jump properly I will probably make that <laughs> Red. I 
I believe there's another trophy, we're getting 99 lives in each game. Which isn't too hard to get. But, yeah. Here we go, the embryo. These are also bonus stages who are, which are a little bit more difficult. But you need to do them nonetheless. Was there alive? I was alive. There you are. I still can't believe I hit that so perfectly. Oh, nice. No holds barred. Oh, uh, nice. The trophy is Kogo. Oh, yeah, that's right. You you can uh, get trophies as Kogo as well, like the same stuff you do with spinning, like with Christ and stuff. It's kind of cool and fun. I play this or okay, don't spin him. Okay, nothing. Okay. Just checking, just checking. There you go. Here we go. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Oh, seriously, you gotta do me like that. I better make the jump back. Oh, yeah, I can. Imagine me failing the point. Oh, okay. Same result. Oh, yeah, you can't. Finish it completely because you need the blue jam for this buff. But I can't have to do the embryo bonus rounds. Those are always fun because you get lives, but at a price. There you go. Go away. I don't know why, but the controls feel so much better than the, than the original one. Man. It's so much smoother, I have more control. That's how I feel about this. But yeah, they, they moved that little uh, embryo box over there, because normally it was over here. Okay. So that's the last I mean, the thing they changed. <laughs> oh, look at Kyoko. <laughs> So yeah, that was the little part I wanted to do as Coco, just to show her off. So, let's go back over, no, here, and let's swap, and continue as Crash. Hawkwild, here we go. Oh, I managed to do the first island in the first part, man, holy crap. <laughs> Uh, I have sort of like little timer next to me. I want to do 25 minutes videos max, so I have a timer to uh, make sure I don't do like hours and hours and stuff. Because you know, in the editing, it takes too much time for me. Um, with these cuts pre-hand, it's much easier to manage. Yeah, this fuck wild. Oh yeah, this already feels way better than the original. I think it's awesome. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Didn't move fast enough. There you go. I keep doing it. I can think I need to hit the box straight ahead, but I can just hit it on the side. I don't know why. And 
which is a habit of mine, I guess. And then not moving <laughs> is also a habit of mine. Oh god. Just don't let this be the level where I'm freaking keep on dying for the next 20 to 25 lives for nothing. How did I hit? Oh, okay. Come on! That's the. It's. I. I don't know why, I just jumped too early. Why do I keep doing that? I keep thinking I need to jump early, but I don't. Wait. I, I even say wait and I jump. Oh my god. I know what, but my body's just like, nope, we're gonna jump. It's like that freaking curse. It's the freaking curse, man. It is the freaking curse. <laughs> it doesn't want me to be this. Sure, she is the curse. Bloody cares. Uh, what? Okay, so you need to hit this straight on. Oh wait, I can only do that with Polar. That's right. I thought they also implemented it in this one. Apparently not. So I can't jump on top of a box, I hit, need to hit it like head first. Or head side. Cool. Right now we that. Okay, finally! The bloody jump worked. That took way too long than I wanted to, but I got it. Sweet. Ah, native fortress. You know what? I'm gonna do this one because it's the last level of the first island. So why the heck not? Then it gets a little bit longer, but that feels more completed that way. I don't think I can do... Can I do this 100% as well? I think so. Not sure. Can I... Can, hold on. can I just... Thank you. <laughs> I keep on thinking I know the other one you can't get hundred percent completed. I don't know about this one now. to find out. Just completed. 
Oh, of course I'm. Of course I'm freaking finger jumping right now. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> I'm in the front of the screen. So yeah, this video is going to be a little bit longer, but I don't care. So it's fun, entertaining. Maybe I should do like a little death counter in this one, like how many times I've died in this thing trilogy in total. Maybe, I'm not sure. I mean I don't care if it takes a lot of editing, but then again maybe the maybe the game already is gonna tell me at the end. Are you You're a little bastard, aren't you? Maybe the game is gonna tell me at the end. I wish I died. <laughs> okay, so hit, hit you, hit you, keep you. Damn it! I forgot about that. I thought that was like, oh, it only hits that one box. But nope. I forgot. Oh wait, this is the end. Of it. I keep forgetting I moved forward. I, every time I think like I, I moved, like just turned around, but I don't. I, I know where the Aqua Aqua is, but I keep thinking it's lower than it actually is. And I don't know why I'm doing that. Why am I playing as a noob? I keep asking myself that. This is just terrible. There is there's just no excuse for it. I'm just playing and honestly terrible right now. Come on. There you go. You gotta be kidding me. Thank you for landing on that one. And uh, okay, fine, I missed the whole bloody thing. Like jump on it the first time, but when I turn around, you just fall off. Damn it! <laughs> Good job, me. Good job. Just keep sc screwing it up. Yeah, keep keep screwing it up. Yeah. Should get a counter how many times I failed. Probably reached ten by now. This isn't even difficult. Why am I making it so difficult? Why am I doing this to myself? Why? Why am I doing this? Why do I keep screwing up the most easiest parts? Thank you! Thank you, me! Also, there we go. I'm gonna take the easy route now. Hey, the dudes. There aren't any boxes here. Come. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, the red gem. And why didn't I just look ahead? Why did I keep? Why do I keep looking at the freaking red gem? And I, I'm not fast enough. A sign. As in, it's telling me you're stupid. You're stupid. You need to stop screwing around. You need to stop looking at the environment for 10 seconds and just look at the platforming. I'm an idiot. I just waited too long. I couldn't just jump at the end of the fire. I couldn't make it. But no. I had to wait. Oh yeah, the freaking box was behind her. That's why I was. Yeah. As soon as I died, I looked around at the scenery. I saw it. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> For not noticing that. Like the first time. I'm an idiot. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for that. And here was a box, uh, another box, but just a life. Man. I always thought there was a box behind there. I don't know why. Just keep on thinking that. Trying to get all the boxes up in here. Why? I don't know why. Still need that red gem though. Yeah, for all these. I know where they are. Up in the sky. Oh man. Oh yeah, first I completed. Done the first time it is done. Here we are at Optic Creek. Awesome. But this is going to be something for another part. So I want to say thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Laters.